here. Is everybody ready? Hit it. I suppose looking, I mean, I've been doing this for 17 years, so I'm 54, so I what, started at 37. Um, I think I've been in 14 shows now, 13 of them musicals and one play. Um, but I do, I do like the challenge of doing different roles. Um, so, you know, going from Emile de Beck, a Frenchman in the in the South Pacific to the next one was Oklahoma and um, played Curly and, um, you know, kind of a cowboy character, got to walk around with a, you know, a, a gun and, and wear the cowboy hats and um, wore, in memory, wearing extremely tight pants, which probably wasn't great. You know, at that stage, I was just starting to lose hair. I had this role of Curly. My hair's never been Curly and I had a bit of a bald spot so I remember you know before coming to the show every night going out in the backyard and my wife Jen getting some black hair kind of paint and going painting the top of my head like it's it's you're not telling your friends about that I can tell you um, so last year um, I did the role of Billy Flynn in Chicago and I remember getting to a couple of weeks or so out from performances and really feeling like I hadn't nailed it yet and hadn't learnt my lines properly yet I felt and was struggling with particularly the scenes near the end and it kind of dawned on me that actually I'm the experienced one here I've, I've, I've done more shows than all these people and yeah I kind of had this realisation of what am I worried about like I can do this I've done lots of different roles so this year I'm rehearsing for Beauty and the Beast um, I wasn't going to be <laughs> like a lot. I've had a lot of roles where I haven't actually uh, auditioned and decided I need, need a year off. But then there's this um, role of Maurice, who's Belle's dad in Beauty and the Beast. It's a, it's a lovely role. It's a small role. It's the least amount of singing I've ever done. I think I sing for probably 20 or 30 seconds. I'm driven partly by the fact that it is not what people would have expected me to do. I'm also, I'm kind of motivated by a fair bit of fear of failure and not wanting to do a bad job. Um, probably more than the, the thrill of doing a really fantastic job is that fear of, don't want to stuff my lines up. I want to make sure I look like I'm half professional out there when I do a show. It's all those sorts of things that drive me. But I've learnt lots of, you know, danced on stage and had fights on stage and kissed on stage and um, ran down the aisle and you know done a whole pile of things that I never thought I would have been able to do before I did my first show and then you know I've, I couldn't count how many people I've actually been on stage with or have been involved in a musical with it, with it would be hundreds now and you know it's great fun having someone new um, doing this show with Chris Stevenson who's um, the beast and he was in Chicago last year you know a few years ago I didn't never met him before and suddenly here's someone that you're in the change rooms and you're, you're, you're motivating each other and you're um, encouraging each other like that's that's pretty cool and that's happened all the way through all the musicals I've done there's people who you know you get a chance to lift other people up but they constantly lift you up and yeah it's it's great